Why you should never touch an outside cat. Outside cats are domestic cats who have never had the chance to socialize and learn to trust people since they have always had to fend for themselves as kittens. Feral cats are frequently the offspring of unmodified cats who were abandoned outdoors. In the United States, there are thought to be between 60 and 100 million stray cats. When touching an outside cat, your safety is at risk first and foremost because cat bites can be painful. If the cat attacks you, it could put their lives in danger as well. If a stray cat injures you, there are significant legal and public health repercussions. Serious consequences may result if an animal that bites or draws blood on a person has an unknown rabies status. Because the cat bit you, a veterinarian or regional animal inspector might be required by law to put it in confinement or even suggest euthanizing it. Number 1. Cats can seriously harm humans. Even when every precaution can be taken, experienced veterinarians, animal health technicians, and animal inspectors occasionally get badly bitten or scratched by cats. A feral, stray, or fearful cat can change course quickly. The best course of action when approaching an unfamiliar cat is caution. Number 2. Cats can spread illness. When you pick up a stray cat or handle any cat with an unknown history, you run the risk of contracting zoonotic infections, diseases that pass through animals to people, or exposing your domestic cats to feline diseases. Number 3. They might have illnesses. On the streets, feral cats lead brief and difficult lives. They never pass away from old age. Cats left outside frequently get contagious illnesses such as infectious peritonitis, feline AIDS, leukemia, and herpes viral conjunctivitis. For cats who are not regularly handled and examined by vets and who are not seen by them, even conditions that are simple to treat can turn fatal. Number 4. They might be really filthy. Minor wounds like cuts or punctures can develop into virulent infections and abscesses. Cats with untreated upper respiratory infections may have eyes and nostrils that are so mucus caked that they are unable to see or breathe. Ferals are frequently driven insane by the discomfort and itching of ear mites and associated diseases, and they may scratch their ears until they bleed. Number 5. Already a threat to other animals. Wildlife is also at risk from stray cats. According to the American Bird Conservancy, millions of birds and small mammals are killed by stray cats in the United States every year, including rare species like the piping plover and the least tern. Cats are not natural wildlife and do not belong in the ecology of predators and prey. No matter how well nourished they are, they still have a hunting instinct. Numerous native birds and other tiny wild creatures that are already battling to live such as habitat development and are ill-prepared to deal with such predators are terrorized, maimed, and killed by them. Number 6. They are untamable and not at all like your domestic cat. Always keep in mind that cats in the wild are not domesticated like cats you have as pets at home. It follows that you cannot foresee their behavior, which might be rather risky. They may react in an unexpected way and behave much more crazily than you had anticipated. You might consider being sympathetic to them, but they are afraid and prepared to defend themselves. Number 7. Is that really a stray cat? The cat is the only one who can tell for sure, yet they are frequently silent on such matters. If you take their cat inside while you are outside looking for the cat, putting up signs, etc., they can become extremely unhappy with you. Proceed with caution. Even a cat who appears to be nice can be frightened or misplaced and exhibit violent behavior. Never assume you know much about a cat after observing them for 30 seconds. There are no rules for cat personalities. The cat might be adorable or bizarre, amiable or capricious, scared or terrifying. You need to decide whether to involve a rescue organization or devise a safe way to transfer this cat to a veterinarian based on your experience and expertise. Don't pick up a stray cat. Do this instead. When people see a cat outside, they frequently assume it has nowhere to live 
when in reality, the cat may only have recently decided to visit you from a quarter mile away. Here are some ideas to consider. Do you care about the well-being of this cat because it appears to be ill? Do they need urgent medical attention? If so, are you ready to take them to the veterinarian or contact a feline rescue organization? Is it possible to transport this cat without risking injury? Are you prepared to shoulder the cat's financial obligations? Do you want to adopt the cat that has been loitering about your house or garage for a while? The majority of people in these circumstances start feeding the cat outside or in a shed, observing the personality and physical condition from a distance and creating a bond with the cat. What comes next? Make a safe plan to transport this cat to your veterinarian by calling them. So, is it acceptable to pick up a stray cat? Never on a whim though. But after giving it some thought, exercising some patience, and taking into account the moon phase for cats, you can continue cautiously, make an effort to get to know the curious cat in your shed, and then do the right thing by taking it to the vet.